This has been one of the biggest years for illegal border crossings into the United States. Last month alone, 225,000 migrants illegally crossed the southern border. It's a record high, overwhelming the Border Patrol resources that are already stretched thin. Mayors across the country say their cities are being pushed to a breaking point. Governor DeSantis, former President Trump, famously promised to build a wall on the southern border. He obviously did not get that uh, done. You have promised to finish the job. How will you succeed where he failed? We will build a wall. We will actually have Mexico pay for it in the way that I thought D Donald Trump was. We're going to charge fees on remittances that workers send to foreign countries. Billions of dollars uh, will build the wall. He also promised record deportations. Donald Trump deported fewer people than Barack Obama did when he was president. Biden's let in 8 million people just in four years. They all have to go back. We have to enforce the rule of law in this country. Think about what's happening to our country. Just this week, we saw the news that a, high, that a school in Brooklyn, New York, had the kids stay home. They did, were not able to go to school, told you can't go get an in-person education. Why? Because they're common, the city's commandeering the school to house illegal aliens in it. Talk about putting Americans last. You're putting these kids out of an education because you can't control the border. Biden has failed in this endeavor. He has not taken care that the laws of this country be faithfully executed. Do not trust Nikki Haley with illegal immigration. That's like having the fox guard the hen house. She's on tape at the Aspen Institute. She'll say she didn't say it. She was chastising conservatives, saying it's disrespectful to illegal aliens to say that they're criminals. They're violating the law. It's disrespectful when people come to this country illegally and impose burdens on our communities and run drugs into this country. That's what's disrespectful. She's weak on immigration. She's bankrolled by people who want open borders. And she said there shouldn't be a limit on immigration. You should work with corporate CEOs. Thanks, Governor. That is pale pastels. That Governor, is warmed thank over you so much. So, Governor Haley. <laughs> Governor DeSantis and also Donald Trump uh, are attacking you for that comment in 2015 in which you said undocumented immigrants should not be called, quote, criminals. At the time, the full context is you said, quote, we don't need to talk about them as criminals. They're not. They're families that want a better life and they're desperate to get here, unquote. Do you still feel that way? I saw them. When I was at the United Nations, I saw them. That doesn't mean we should let them into our country. I mean, first of all, I will tell you that when I was governor of South Carolina, we passed the toughest illegal immigration law in the country. Obama sued us over it, and we won. We fought Obama on illegal immigration. We fought Obama on migrant kids. We fought Obama on Syrian refugees. We fought Obama on Guantanamo Bay um, prisoners. I have always said we are a country of laws. The second we stop being a country of laws, we give up everything this country was founded on. But I will tell you, in one, passing that toughest illegal immigration law in the country, we passed E-Verify, which I want to take national, which is where businesses have to prove that the people they hire are in this country legally. I passed it within six months of being governor. Ron didn't pass it for five years. He only waited to pass it when he decided to run for president. What we need to do is not just ban a wall. We need to put 25,000 Border Patrol and ICE agents on the ground and let them do their job. We need to defund sanctuary cities once and for all. No more safe havens for illegal immigrants. We need to make sure we go back to the Remain in Mexico policy so that no one even steps foot on U.S. soil. And instead of catch and release, we need to go to catch and deport. That's the only way we'll stop the incentives of these illegal immigrants coming across. Biden turned around and gave half a million Venezuelans temporary protective status. That's half a million driver's licenses, half a million social security numbers. All that does is incentivize them to pick up the phone, you, call Governor. their family she, members, and tell them to Thank you, Governor. Governor ahead. DeSantis. She did bring... When she was governor, she did bring Syrian refugees, and she got criticized for that. That is uh, not she true. Also in her comment, when she also hold, hold on one second, Governor. That we'll, is we'll, not we'll, true. We'll give you your turn in a second, she Governor did. DeSantis. It's, it's, it's noted. So uh, the, the, the disrespect comment, she's talking about that they're all families. If you look right now at the border, these are military-age males, many of them, and they're coming from all across this world, uh, not just from uh, Central America. In fact, you've got them from China, Iran, Russia, the Middle East. When I was down there a couple years ago, because I've sent people down there, 
Uh, you had people from Libya and Haiti. This is a ticking time bomb for this country. There are, of course, going to be terrorist cells that have come in. It's like the lowest cost way to be able to harm this country. Just send people across the southern border. Uh, Nikki Haley also opposed the border wall in 2016. She said that she, she ridiculed it when Donald Trump was born. I'm telling you, you need a wall. You can't trust politicians to do this. If the wall's there, it's a physical fact of life, and it's a huge Thank step you, Governor in restoring DeSantis. this country's Thank you, Governor sovereignty. DeSantis. Governor Haley? Go to DeSantisLies.com. I said you can't just build a wall. You have to do more than build a wall. It was having the wall and everything else. You can't trust what Ron's saying. But this is a bigger issue. This is more than him just constantly being um, desperate and throwing things on me. This is the fact that we have to realize my parents came here legally. They came the right way 50 years ago. They put in the time. They put in the price. They are offended by what's happening on the border. And my mom would always say if they don't follow the law, to come into this country, they won't follow the laws when they are in this country. And we have to start treating this like it is. This is putting harm on our schools, on our hospitals. Taxpayers are paying for it. You see these mayors are now upset about it. The only reason Eric Adams is now upset, why? He shouldn't be a sanctuary city then. That's why we have to defund sanctuary cities. Now Governor Abbott finally did to them what's been happening to Texas for so long. We've got to put an end to this. It's dangerous Thank and you. it doesn't Thank even you, count Governor. the fentanyl that's Governor DeSantis. Off. There are more than 10 million undocumented immigrants already living in the United States, uh, according to Pew Research. Will any of them be allowed to stay in the United States under your administration? The number of people that will be amnestied when I'm president is zero. We cannot do an amnesty in this country. Uh, first of all, it's going to do is cause more people to want to come illegally. So you got to enforce the law. It's got to be consistent. People got to know it's there. You also have to remove benefits uh, for people who are here illegally. You know, California, you can go illegal alien and you get free health insurance coverage. You're here illegally and they're doing that? Uh, we should not let states provide these benefits. You know, in Florida, obviously, we don't do that. We don't allow the driver's license and all that. But some states do, and it creates a magnet for people coming in. So federally, no benefits, no enticements to come in. And then the states, we're going to crack down on sanctuary states and sanctuary cities. And I showed the hypocrisy of all this uh, back in 2022, because we have a program to transport illegal aliens to sanctuary jurisdictions. And one of the places we sent 50 to, beautiful, liberal Martha's Vineyard. And you know what? These are folks that were on their high horse, saying how they were a sanctuary jurisdiction, saying nobody's illegal, all refugees are welcome. That's what they had in their town. The minute even 50 came up, they called the state of emergency and deported them off the island the next day. How do you think Texas feels? How do you think all these other communities feel that are overwhelming, uh, being overwhelmed? So we cannot have liberal elites in this country imposing policies on the rest of us that they are not willing to deal with the consequences of themselves. Governor Haley, by the, uh, in, w when you're president, uh, will any of the more than 10 million undocumented immigrants in the U.S. be allowed to stay in the country under your administration? You have to deport them. And the reason you have to deport them is they're cutting the line. You've got people who have done this and tried to go through the right way. You can't have them go and jump the line and suddenly do that. And that is actually what will get them to stop coming, is when they do realize they get to the wall and they have to turn around and go back. It's a dangerous process of what happens for them to try and migrate here. But when I was at the United Nations and we had this, which is another reason why we need to have Trump here defending himself and talking about what he would do going in the future, because it's a problem. I was on the ground in Honduras and Guatemala. And what we saw is a lot of the reason why they were coming from there is because of gangs and drugs. And so what we did was we had our military go and train them on how to deal with gangs. We went and put drug boats on the water to keep the drugs from coming. But we said, you have to have them process from here. You can't have them come. We were able to stop that flow. We've got to go back to do that. But we need to end it once and for all. Donald Trump didn't do that. That's why he needs to be here de debating on the stage right now.